What is going on, everybody? Eddie Soundhead back with Soundhead Entertainment once again, welcoming you to the highly requested return of Wreckfest Wednesday and the return of my ability to use my voice after surviving the vid. Can't terminate me that easily. And with that settled, we've got quite the track to take on with the NASCAR Legends today, this being a killer half-pipe figure eight from the Coliseum Collection in the very track pack. Sticking with the skate theme from our last video, which I have no problems with, we'll have to try not to join the Hall of Meat here today in this Tabasco car from the Legends Extra Skin Pack. I do have a few new schemes in the booth getting cooked up as we speak. So in the meantime, we'll have to try not to have our own Tabasco fiasco here in front of the billions of people in this Coliseum. Unfortunately for the Coliseum goers, I don't think you can really see much of what's happening inside this pipe and that might be for the best, seeing as how this is getting started. As we're all just getting ejected right at the first opportunity. The reset button is definitely going to be our friend today. I know that. I don't know if these guys are going to be able to get out of the first couple of quarters. This might be one of those ones we just run away with or not. And we just grind our way out of every jump. That was freaking awesome. We're doing real skateboard tricks out here in the car. And I don't have enough power to get over the ramps. Oh, okay, Todd Gillen coming out of nowhere. So sorry about it. Hold on. We can get back on the wheels eventually. It just takes a couple tries. Let me flip this bad boy around. Do I have to follow the actual figure eight layout? It kind of looks like it. Sorry, Chase. Jeez. Just wipe Chase out. He lost the lottery. I got my door pushed in about two feet. And I'm turning this thing around the hard way. And I'm hitting invisible walls. And this is not going well. And that's got to be it. I don't know if I would describe this as functioning. It's really not going to be functioning after that. There we go. Sorry, Alex. That's not going to help the concussion symptoms at all. And you're missing a wheel. And I think I might be too, judging by this lean we got going on here. Would you get off of me? Oh, yeah, that wheel is long gone. We'll be seeing it. And so is my ability to steer. I don't know if I can still clear this thing. This might be our last endeavor in life. Oh, wait, we got it. It's hanging on barely. Oh, God, Christopher Bell. And there we go. Christopher Bell's out for retribution. He's tired of being the victim. He's making me into one. We'll hit the replay booth. They're going to have to do a little drone cam work here today because the trackside cameras can't really cover the half pipe. It's kind of hard. They don't really truly do justice to the overwhelming stupidity that is whatever this is rolling off the line. And then speaking of overwhelming stupidity, here's us giving a nice old try to the set path, trying to see if we can cheat the figure eight. Turns out you can't. Probably should have went to the driver's meeting and could have figured that out, but we don't do that crap here. They probably also could have told us not to drive straight up the ramp. Valuable lessons are being learned here in the film room after this one, just like in any sport. Like, maybe use the brakes before jumping instead of in midair. And then at this point, we're just in dark without feathers mode or a missile out of its mind. We're still able to pop some nice air, though. You got to respect that. I'm going to bust a 900 on one of those before the day's over. I might need a little bit of help, like... Like I got from Christopher Bell. I'm just going to need that when I'm going up the ramp instead of when I'm minding my own business. I'm just going to floor it SpongeBob style, trying to push ourselves through this animal planet start and hope for the best. And I don't think my home's going to go anywhere. I'm doing something in the other hand. And it's filling up a lot faster than the hope is. I have got Chick Hicks in a rather compromised position. And now I am getting M&M'd on by Kyle Bush, And he better enjoy it while it lasts. You don't have long, buddy. Come on, you can do it. Oh, I may have miscalculated that. I may have undershot that one just a tad. Let me just go ahead and clear out all the health points while I can. Ryan Preach, you want to come help the cause here? Oh, I'm looking at Jock, and I'm killing myself over here. Who oh, installed Arca brakes on my car? And thanks, Vildiv. I needed the assistance there. I didn't just wipe myself out or anything. Are you kidding me? Anybody care to explain that? Try explaining that without the use of the word Terminator. I dare you. It's impossible. As the 24 has fallen from the heavens, I have no steering or a choice in the matter of the fact that I'm just dead now. All right, cool. So our collection of legendary super geniuses have once again led us down the path of destruction on the start. I don't know that they're ever going to truly understand this. We got to get some angle involved on this. <laughs> we, we can't get an angle that will really describe how much concentrated idiocy there is in this one location in this one shot and as we all know i i do blame the terminators and it is their fault so i'm going to conveniently ask all of you to ignore this portion of the replay hi right, cole how you doing don't look at me then we're going to sail it right on by him again and right into the chains that are holding us in this half pipe like the prison it is i don't know what we did to inspire the bloodlust of the 97 f1 champion but he sure unloaded it right on our face 
just right down the pipe. What the hell, man? Sorry to whoever's behind me, but we gotta test something out to see if this works. Kimia, you just wait right there, buddy, because I think I might be a genius. I am the smartest man who has ever lived. I am the smartest man alive, and I'm dumping shock already. We're getting our payback on the ball. Oh, he's gone. Oh, he took right off again, and I'm getting dumped. Hold on, we gotta recollect our thoughts here. That kind of went to plan. I didn't have a plan of bodying Todd Gillen today, but it's never too late to add things to the list. And just in time for Halloween, I'm dead. I'm a ghost. I'm phasing through stuff. Oh, I might have undershot this one ever so slightly. Just a little concrete reconstruction there. No big deal. Just a little track redesign. I'm a little worried about this. There we go. There's another hard one, and I've destroyed the car. You gotta be kidding me. When will I learn the brakes are my friend? Oh, now, hold up, hold up, what brakes? I don't even think I have any left. I'll just use Briscoe as the brakes, I guess. Sorry, dude. Is this like one of those demolition races where everybody sits in the car until the end? That would be terrible if it was. These guys are taking some beatings if that's the case. I'm gonna be taking a beating trying to turn this thing around the long way. Come on, oh, hold on, does this count as a 900? If I land it on the wheels, you gotta count it. Judge that like it's the X Games. Josh Balicki has stolen the dump from me, so everything from this point on is a bit pointless. Damn it. You know, we went the distance. Damn it. Give me across the line. That's second. That is the saddest P2 you'll ever see, but it is still P2. We could just mount a hard camera right here on the star, and we would have all the action covered. This is where pretty much everything happens. And of course, third time's the charm. We just go flying around the outside. Did we win? Of course not. But these things happen in big time auto races. Sometimes you just, you do everything right and you're still wrong. You're still holding the L at the end of the day. Like Todd Gillen was right at the beginning because he was just in the wrong place at the wrong time and it's turned me into a spooky ghost. Another major key valuable lesson alert that has dropped itself upon us is that it's much better to overshoot those concrete barriers than undershoot them until you get down here to the second ones. And then you don't want to overshoot them because you're hitting the wall at 180. And you got to find that middle ground. I don't know what lesson we're supposed to extract out of this one right here. We yeah, I, Actually, you know what? Don't try to drive a bum car around after you already ripped one of the wheels off of it. That's not much of a hot take. Or don't try to turn around by driving the car straight up into the air. And then we trip, stumble, and fall on Chase Elliott's corpse right there. Either way, this is how you go out in style right here. You just decide that steering is optional and crash into everything. Oh, I should have backed everybody up. What am I doing? <laughs> Why did I let myself fall into this trap? I just saw a suplex take place. We got wrestling moves out here and we got a Hot Wheels production line forming. Oh my God. We're making Matchbox. Priest, you deserve better than this. Oh, that's a tough place to be stuck to. Come on, Bell. Getting bashed in midair. Oh, come on. When will I learn that my actions have consequences for Suarez? At least I just killed him. And we got action in the intersection. I'm about to get some spots. Everybody's just dumb, including me, because I can't hit the brakes. I'm about to fly out of the track. Look out. Oh, my God. I would fly towards a crowd of people. How we didn't just crush someone is a miracle. Do you guys not know what we're doing here? Get out of the way. Come on, let me turn this ship around and win. <laughs> my lead is gone. I might have put too much juice on that one, and I've lost. There we go. Fitting. Come on, Chick Hicks. Can you just be my battering ram through this whole pile? No, of course not. I'm just going to go airborne and fly over the top of everybody. Clear them all. Can I jump my way over one of you and out of the park, please? Or into the park? However the hell you would describe that. Whatever that little animal pen is, I need to stay out of that. I think I've wound up in it every single time we've tried this here today, which is incredible. A 100% success rate. Just not even going to try to recover from that. AJ, taking your life and putting it in your own hands, dude. I respect it, kind of. You softened the blow that I was eventually going to take on that wall, so I respect it. Gailey. Pull it up on the wrong side of town, dude. And another one. Everybody just stay away from me. I gotta hunt down Villeneuve and take back what's mine in a fitting form of events. All right, Yaley, Jesus, that was kind of sick. You didn't do anything with it. You're a stooge and I'm a stooge too because I still can't hit the brakes. I keep getting distracted, that's what it is. I let somebody in my general environment just get in my peripheral vision and then I forget the basics of driving. How is this possible? What is wrong with me? Don't answer that. Did I just, uh, Jock tried one of my moves. He pulled one right out of my handbook by trying to turn around by driving straight up the ramp. And there goes the sign. There goes a hell of a jump to finish this off. Am I gonna about to just steal this win? I'm about to call it a day right there? Hand me my dub. I'm taking it and I'm running out of here. Well, what a hard fought way to get the dub that was. I think that's the perfect way 
to ease ourselves back into Wreckfest Wednesday in the post-Rona era of my throat. Getting a little sore already, so we are gonna wind things down here, but we're gonna look at how we did it first, and it wasn't without a little creativity. JJ Yaley just powers down right here while I am messing around in the air, and then he just drops it into a wall instead of doing anything cool with it. And then I, you know, follow suit and do the exact same thing. Now, is it really a sound head victory if we don't do at least a portion of the race in reverse? It seems like almost a somewhat mandatory task at this point. And then we have Villeneuve giving up the race by going and reaching for the sky, getting a metal pole up the backside. That was a look to each their own. And the win is going to be our own after we land this jump just past the concrete. Give a slap to Chick Hicks on the way by. And one last wall shot there to finish us off and hand us that dub. That is going to do it, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. As always, if you did, you know what to do. Hit that like button. Subscribe for more. We'll be back with some more Wreckfest here soon. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace!